your co-founder, Chris Larson, has given a lot of money to the Harris campaign. You had just told us a little bit ago that you are fiercely independent. And so when you think about the differences in the candidates and how they might approach crypto, what do you really know, particularly because the Harris campaign has been far more vague? Well, like, I, I think there's one thing I feel very confident about, and that is the, the Biden administration's approach to regulation of the crypto industry. That is coming to an end for sure. And I think no matter where this plays out at the presidential level, we'll have a more constructive engagement with this industry. It's a critical industry. It's an innovative technology. And I think the United States should be at the forefront and leading, as we did with the Internet of Information. Uh, I, I think we'll get there. As I said yesterday at the Philadelphia Federal Reserve, I, I think uh, Gary Gensler's reign of terror on the crypto industry is going to come to an end very soon. Brad, in your view, does it matter if Kamala Harris is president come January 20th or Donald Trump is president come January 20th? What's better for you? What's better for Ripple? Well, my, my, I, I've taken a very uh, neutral point of view. For the crypto industry, I think it's clear that the Republicans at a macro level have been more proactive in saying this is an industry that needs clear regulation. Uh, you have seen a Republican-led bill at, in the House pass uh, with 71 or 72 Democrats crossing the aisle to support that in a very bipartisan way. So I, I think we have seen a, a more Republican-centric uh, but I also think you've seen indications that the, the Harris campaign wants to reset some of the very flawed approaches that the Biden administration has had with the crypto industry and other parts of technology. So I, I, what I'm optimistic about is we're going to see a change. We're going to see a reset. And I think we need that at the federal level. The United States, there's no question, the United States is behind other leading countries like the UK, like Switzerland, like Singapore, like Japan, that are way ahead in providing constructive and clear regulation and rules of the road for this industry.